This is question 19. Here I'm given a triangle ABC and I'm given the length BC as 60, CA as 90 and the angle here 130 degrees. What I'm asked to do is I'm asked to calculate the perimeter of the triangle and I'm asked to give your answer correct to one decimal place. So to work out the perimeter of the triangle I'm going to need to work out the length of this side here. Now in order to do this what, I'm what I can see is I'm working out a missing length on a non right angled triangle and so to do this I'm going to need to either use the sine rule or the cosine rule. To figure out which one I need to use I just need to look at what information I've been given. Now what I've been given is two lengths 60 and 90 which trap an angle. So when I see this situation two lengths which trap an angle what I can say is that this is going to be the cosine rule. So the cosine rule we define as a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of the angle a where the where b and c are the lengths which are trapping the angle so this is going to be b and this is going to be c or the other way around and the cos of the angle a the angle is the angle that is being trapped and that is going to be equal to the square of the side that we're trying to find so just substituting in here I can say that uh, and let's call it x squared the length that we're trying to find is x squared is going to be equal to uh, 60 squared plus 90 squared minus 2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 90 multiplied by cos 130 Okay, so that will tell us what x squared is, x squared is going to be. To figure out, figure out what x is going to be, what this missing length is going to be, I just need to square root that answer. So I just square root this bit here. I'm not going to bother writing that out again. Uh, I'm just going to type it into my calculator. So this length x, that I don't know what it is at the moment, is going to be the square root of 60 squared plus 90 squared minus 2 times 60 times 90 uh, multiplied by cos 130. And so that gives me an answer of that x is equal to 136.5. So x equals 136. Point five, And so what I can now do to work out the perimeter of the triangle, I can just add these lengths together. So 136.5 plus 60 plus 90, and that is going to give me a perimeter of 286.5 centi uh, not centimetres, metres, isn't it? So 286.5 metres. So final answer, 286.5.